The atmosphere appeared tense as Mexican soldiers moved into position Thursday in the western city of Guadalajara. They were going after a top leader of the Sinaloa cartel, Ignacio Coronel Villarreal, known as El Nacho Coronel. He was number three in the country's most powerful drug gang and a close associate of its leader, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, allegedly controlling trafficking through three Mexican states, the Pacific route for cocaine smuggling. In an upscale Guadalajara suburb, soldiers appeared to search at least two homes. They arrested Francisco Quinones Gastelum, alleged to be Coronel's right-hand man and the only associate allowed to accompany him to his mansion. But when it came to the drug baron himself, it was a different story. Authorities say he was gunned down. He'd fired on soldiers as helicopters hovered overhead and troops closed in. Army General Edgar Ruiz Villegas. During this operation, Nacho Coronel tried to avoid the action by attacking military personnel with gunfire, killing one soldier and wounding another. Responding to the attack, this capo died. According to the FBI, which had a $5 million price tag on his head, Coronel started producing massive amounts of methamphetamine in clandestine Mexican labs, then smuggling it into the U.S. It said the scope of his operations reached as far as Europe. Little had been known about him on its website of Most Wanted. Mexico's attorney general left blank his age, place of origin, and personal characteristics. Coronel's death was the biggest strike against Mexican drug gangs since a raid back in December, and it countered persistent allegations the federal government was favoring the Sinaloa cartel. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.